The latest Durango City Council meeting had a short agenda, but a substantive discussion on a local issue. Hello, I'm Christina Rinderly, City Councilor and Mayor Pro Tem. This program is designed to give you a snapshot of happenings at the most recent Durango City Council meeting. This time, we look at the July 7th meeting. One of the first items on the agenda is the consent agenda, which is intended to allow City Council, by a single motion, to approve matters that are considered routine or non-controversial. There's usually no separate discussion of these items unless a council member or a citizen requests an item be removed from a consent agenda and considered separately. Councillor Dick White removed one of the items from the consent agenda. It dealt with the adoption of City Council goals for 2015 and 2016. The City Council at, at its retreat in May reviewed the uh, City Council goals that we had established over the last couple of years with the additional recommendations from staff about new items. Uh, we reconsidered them again at a study session two weeks ago. These are the basis on which the manager is going to be uh, constructing the 2016 budget and they are a public document to represent to our to our constituents, this is what we're thinking. This is what we, uh, as your representatives, are proposing for the actions of the city of Durango. And that will be coming back to us in forms of specific proposals uh, in the budget in the fall. And it's worth mentioning that that process uh, with total, with a bottom line of something like $80 million gets an amazingly small amount of attention from the public at the time. So I think everything we can do to highlight these goals and let people know they're out there, you know, it really is worth looking at uh, the multitude of things that the city does. The consent agenda also included items calling for public hearings at the next council meeting, July 21st, on two major issues. One will be a hearing on a possible ballot issue in November on an additional tax on recreational marijuana. Its proposed voters be asked to approve a 5% sales tax on marijuana with proceeds earmarked for improvement of city facilities and other purposes. The second public hearing will ask voters to exempt Durango from Senate Bill 152. The exemption would allow Durango to invest and provide community broadband services, high-speed internet, cable television services, and more through private sector partners. One person spoke during the public participation. Claire Nind expressed her concerns and that of others living near Mountain Middle School. The school is planning a 12,000 square foot expansion and addition of more grades. Mountain Middle School has proposed an extension to their current location, doubling their building size, adding three grades, and going from um, a student population of 180 to 270 students. The um, neighborhood is very much in opposition to this, this expansion for a number of reasons. Um, with the three current grades that exist now, there have been significant impacts on our community and our neighborhood, including things like um, traffic congestion, especially around drop-off and pick-up time, uh, pick time. Um, safety, there are no crossing guards, there's no crosswalks, um, parking issues, including the blocking of a disabled neighbor's driveway, um, and there is very little play area for the current three grades, almost none. They play in their parking lot. And um, with an additional three grades, younger grades, third through fifth, there would be even less space um, and there is great impact on the neighborhood of the students. What is shocking to us is that no city or county entity has any jurisdiction over this expansion. Um, the state of Colorado has jurisdiction over it. I don't know what that means. I don't know who that is. But it is a little frustrating that we don't really have a say. There is really only one reference in the state statutes that I could find that deal with this issue. And it basically has said, well, if you have a planning commission, the planning commission has an ability to request a hearing. And so our planning commission has requested that hearing. It's scheduled for a week from Thursday. And then if the planning commission does not agree with the recommended uh, expansion, the city planning com commission can request a hearing before the, and this is where 
Ms. Nind, as well as those of us on staff, are really not yet certain who would hear the appeal of the Planning Commission, or the, the Planning Commission's uh, a basic protest about the expansion. But uh, it's likely that this issue will end up before either the State Board of Education, the more likely alternative, or possibly, oddly enough, in front of the 9R <coughs> Board of Education. But we think it's the State Board of Education. And we think that it's probably beneficial to have the local elected body, not a local appointed body, which is authorized through the state legislation, to comment on the issue. It's not going to hurt to have a city council comment on it as well. Councilors decided to wait to take action until after a special planning commission meeting on the Mountain Middle School expansion, which will be at 6 p.m. at City Hall Thursday, July 16th. The next most likely step would be for council to perhaps write Senator Ellen Roberts and State Representative J. Paul Brown expressing concern on the lack of authority on charter school matters. During council reports and actions, several councilors talked about the recent Colorado Municipal League meeting that we all attended. Several also expressed satisfaction with the public turnout during the re recent 4th of July festivities, despite periods of rain. It was also noted that the Friends of the Library will host another book sale soon. It will be July 17th and 18th from 9.30 to 5 at the library. Of course, you can always check out their selection of used books for sale in the library lobby. And that's Council Connection for the July 7th Durango City Council meeting. I'm City Councilor and Mayor Pro Tem Christina Rinderly. Thanks for joining us and remember, you can always contact your city councilors at our email address, citycouncil at durangogov.org.